go ahead and give your name. And, and look at me now. Okay. Hi, I'm, I'm Wendy Westergaard, and I'm doing the internet for the wagon train. Um, part of my experiences as a pioneer will be on the internet, as long with me downloading the information from Margaret and Daniel. Um, and will anybody be able to, be able to get yes. this information? Yes. What, how do they get it? Um, it's so HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash heritage dot uen dot org. And so you, your pioneer experience is going to be a little different than this. Yeah, pioneer. but I won't be putting the internet experience on the computer. So will you be but, out the whole trip? Yes, I will be out the whole way. And you're going to be on a wagon, in a wagon, on a horse? I'm kind of gopher. I will be walking some days, I will be on the wagon some days. I will be everywhere. So, um, on the internet there's a space for expert questions if you want to call, um, write in questions. I will be going around and finding out the answers for the questions, any questions people might be having, and um, they can find that on the internet the next day. Why are you doing this? I've always had a fascination with the West, and this is one way to make it become a reality rather than a fantasy. How hard do you think it's going to get? It's going to be really hard. <laughs> It's going to be definitely an experience, a learning experience that is going to be tremendous. I, I am very excited. I can't wait. You're ready to go the whole distance? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm thrilled. <laughs> Tickled. How did you get involved in this? Um, I was working for Colorado Stables this past summer, um, taking the tickets at This Is The Place State Park. And they were doing the wagon train. and. I'm still with them and they wanted me to help out and so I am. <laughs> um, that's what we're doing. Kind of is a family business and I've, been I've kind of been adopted into the family. Did you have pioneers? You have yes, actually I had um, one ancestor, a Scandinavian ancestor who came through on the last bit before the, the railroad came through. So I believe her name was Anna.